Doug with Eden Lawn Services. Welcome to the channel and today we are going to start video number one of a series that's going to be called Repair the Time Master, I guess. So um, after further inspection on these, and I didn't quite go over everything in yesterday's video, uh, the guy that I bought them from had crews and he said they were rough on the equipment and he just beat the crap out of it. So that's why it's broken and he just didn't have time to repair them. So that's why he bought another one and then I got them. Anyways, uh, so after further inspection on these, this one here is older for sure. It's got more wear and tear on it than this one does, um, even though I think this one has more problems currently, but it's nothing that we can't fix. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the best parts and we're gonna put it on this mower and we're gonna get this one running and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, we'll order what we need to and uh, use the, the good parts that are you know still serviceable off of this one and uh, we'll get a good running mower and then this one here i don't know maybe in time uh we'll do a winter project and we can repair it to sell or something who knows but uh let's go over these and um show you what i found so far okay so we still have our two mowers sitting right side by side i want to show you what i found on these uh, if you look right here look at this detent see how much wear is on there you can tell what position you mowed in all the time it was see it's got a notch wore out of it look at that and now look what it's supposed to be like um, this whole front end on this one is, is pretty loosey-goosey. It's got some wear and tear. Whereas this one here, uh, you see it's got a little wear on that, if it'll focus, but it's not bad. Uh, the wheels on this one are solid on both sides, and uh, it seems to be a more sound machine. Okay, we're just going to focus on this machine because this is the machine that I think we're going to rebuild. Um, I can tell you that the muffler is... Uh, is loose on it it needs to be tightened up this is the one that has the bad recoil which we can take the recoil off the other machine uh, of course the kill switch even though it's still there and taped on the wires are tore out of it this other one actually has a good kill switch on it so we'll probably just see if it functions and we'll put it over here drive cable on this one is broken right here so we're gonna have to get a drive cable for it uh, the the speed of uh, the, the personal play system seems to be functioning though. The cable is attached. Um, at least that's what I know so far. Uh, let's look underneath of it. Let me see, what else was there? Oh, um, it looks like the shroud start to peel a little bit, which is no big deal. Uh, I actually have a better shroud over there, even though it's dirty. At least the stickers are on it. And I think that was about it up here. All right, let's look underneath. Okay, you can tell when, uh, when it broke. He must have been mowing some pretty nasty stuff and just parked it. Uh, underneath looks all right. Uh, the front end on this one seems to be a little bit tired, even though it is a little loosey-goosey. I think there's some loose bolts back here. I gotta take a look at that. Um, I did notice on this right here, there's a big spring that's supposed to go in the back. And I don't know if you can see it. On this one, it's clear underneath here. Uh, that's missing on that one. So we'll have to take that spring and put it over. It does have blades. Uh, I mean, they're set. The, the blades are actually don't seem, I mean, they're rusty and dirty, but they don't seem like they have a lot of wear on them. Um, so underneath, it looks all right. I do not know how the transmission transmissions are. We'll have to wing it from there. If it is a loosey-goosey transmission, um, where it doesn't pull anymore. I mean, I think you can buy them online for like 60 bucks. Okay, and the last but not least, uh, you can see that the adjustment lever on the rear over here has a bolt stuck in it. It's broken off, uh, whereas this one has one. So we will have to take this one off this, and put it over there. And then the last thing that I was told, I don't know for sure that this has a broken pulley in it. Uh, if it does, I can just take it off the other mower. Um, but that's the only thing that I can visually see at this point until we get them up and running and checking things out. Not that much, really. Uh, we will have them knocked into shape or have this one knocked into shape and running pretty quick. Uh, you can see it runs and it doesn't have that much wear. The tires do have some wear on them, but not like this other one. This other one has a lot more wear on the tires. So that's why I'm going with this one, just because it's the newer one. Uh, I think this one's a year older than this one. And so it probably has less runtime just by the visible wear. So I don't know. Let's get after it and see what we can do. All right, here we go. This one went boom. 
Um, you can see the belt is broken. This pulley went out of it back here, which is the tensioner pulley. The idler pulley is still good. Uh, and somehow when the belt broke and came off the uh, pulley down here, it got wrapped up into the drive pulley for the propulsion system. So um, we're gonna have to take some parts off the other one, put on this one. Uh, this one over here is actually fully functioning. The belt's a little loose, but the pulleys uh, seem to be in good order and um, the belt seems to be reasonably good. So we'll probably, uh, we'll probably go ahead and take this, we'll probably take both pulleys and the belt and move them over there. Also, the drive belt on that one does not look so good, where the drive belt on this one looks to be a lot better shape. So when that belt broke, it, it thrashed the drive belt as well. Uh, gosh, I almost want to rebuild this one, but this one has, has more runtime on it. I wanted to use the less runtime motor. So uh, we'll just swap everything over and then go to the next project. All right, guys, we're still hard at it here. Uh, I had to do a little bit of a reevaluation. So uh, when that belt broke, it broke the it broke the belt disengagement brake pad. Or I guess what you're gonna call it. It pushes up against this right here, so your blades stop faster. Um, so it broke that. It bent this top piece, uh, which is the belt retainer, I guess you wanna call it. And it's gonna be a pain in the butt. There's a whole bunch of broken stuff underneath there that I would have to swap out of this one, put in that one. Um, after looking at the mowers, and in addition to that, this one, hopefully you can hear that. It's got a spindle going out. Uh, this spindle's okay, but uh, this one is going out. Uh, the spindles over here on this one are fine. There's no problem. The pulleys are good. Um, so we've made the determination that we're going to fix this one up because it'll be a lot less work. Uh, it does appear to have more hours on it, and the front suspension is bad, but I can unbolt that whole front end and uh, bolt it on this one just like that. It's only a few bolts, really easy. Um, so I think we're going to go ahead and go with this mower instead right now, uh, just because the whole drive system for the belts is already fine. There's nothing wrong with it. i got to do swap the front end, and I'll have to fix, uh, you know, of course, the cables. Yeah, the recoil is good. Um, it's a bit dirtier. It needs some scrubbing. So rather than swapping spindles and all the parts underneath uh, over, we're just going to run with this one and swap the front ends out. So let me keep plugging. Okay, really all I did, guys, is kind of take everything apart, take the belt off, make sure all the, the bearings were good and the um, spindles were good. And everything's tight it seems to be all right uh let's fire it up and see how it works Yeah, everything seems fine. Uh, there's a rattle coming up here out of the recoil. It must be bouncing in there. So I gotta tear that apart and figure out what's up. But uh, as far as the drive system goes for the belts, I think it's solid. I mean, if you look at these belts, they don't hardly have any wear and tear on them. I wonder if you sent this in the shop and got serviced and then right after that, the cable broke. Because those are not the original belts. There's no way, they're too new, too new. On to the next part. Hey, I forgot to mention on these Time Masters with the two uh, blades, they gotta be timed opposite each other. So they gotta be crossed up. So see at no time do they hit. So you can have one this way and one that way at all times. Because these will hit. Uh, I was playing with it with the belt off and yeah, they definitely have contact. But uh, it's done, figured I'll give it up quick scrape down because it hasn't been done in a while. It's really messy. Anyways, guys, I think we'll just end this part of the video right here. Um, we will have to see what the next video brings. You can see it runs great. Uh, the blades go round and round, so that's always a good thing. And 
you know, thanks for following along. This is going to be a fun project. I am going to enjoy this a lot. So, uh, guys, hit those hit those buttons and uh, stay tuned. We don't know what we're going to get into next. Catch you later.